Shine bright like a diamond. Bigger, brighter, Shine bright better. Like a the 2017 total solar eclipse was quite the show, but we are in for a whole new adventure in less than one month. Length of totality, width of the path, and accessibility will all contribute to making this year a brand new and improved viewing experience. Chances are you remember racing to Hopkinsville, Kentucky to view the total solar eclipse in 2017. You probably recall the traffic headache it caused as well. Hours of travel to get the best view of the moon covering the sun's light for a quick two and a half minutes. In April, you'll get a lot more bang for your buck. The, the duration of darkness for those in the path of totality this year is longer than the, the duration for the 2017 uh, total eclipse. So you've got a little bit more time to be in be in amongst the darkness in the middle of the day. The moon will block the sun's light for over four minutes in several Indiana towns that aren't far from Louisville. The path of totality is also wider by about 45 miles and passes over more densely populated areas than in 2017, making accessibility to totality much greater. Nearly 31.6 million are in the path this year, which is over two and a half times the amount from seven years ago. One of those densely populated areas is Indianapolis. Over 100,000 visitors are expected to come to the city for the spectacle. I spoke with Morgan Snyder with Visit Indy about their preparations to ensure a seamless experience, especially when it comes to traffic volume. We are designed, deliberately designed, to host large-scale events. You see that a lot when Indy hosts the sporting events like the Final Fours or the Super Bowl or the College Football Playoff Championship. So we're really taking a page out of that playbook Mm -hmm. and applying it to our first opportunity to ever host a, a solar eclipse. Cities near and far are ready, and we hope you are too. But if you're not, it's okay. Head to our website for a complete list of Kentuckiana towns in totality and all things total solar eclipse. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Christina San Juan on your side.